All right, so here we are back again. Um, of course, I wanted to, like I said, I, I made the video last time uh, of us getting into the Vault of Heaven, and I wanted to make a video sort of displaying my performance, at least in the first uh, first time around. Uh, just see how we did. See if we can um, make it to the vault, make it uh, to, to stay in the Vault of Heaven the way we we normally would. Because um, it's going to be really annoying. Because there's nothing more irritating than being able to make it into the Vault of Heaven, meaning we can hit Tier 27 and Tier 28, and then getting to Vault of Heaven, not being able to stay in Tier uh, whatever you need to stay, and then just alternating back and forth, because that's just... I don't know. Just personally, I find that very irritating, um, and I hopefully we can just stay in there. Um, but this should be like an indication for those of you out there uh, where um, how hard it should be or how hard it might not be. Um, so I guess like today we're gonna go over the we're gonna do the attacks and everything. We're also gonna just kind of talk about uh, the experience over the week because it's the first time we introduced something like this. Um, and I guess in terms of how we did over the week, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I think it's because people are putting a lot more emphasis on making sure they have um, the bonus units, the, like the mythic units, on their defense, and their defense as a whole suffers because of it. Um, like I mentioned last time, now suddenly you can't have a cav line because two of those have to be dedicated to uh, your mythic units. Um, now, not, that's not necessarily true. Some people, a lot of people will sacrifice, will be okay with losing the lift loss if they get a cav line and then like almost sort of guarantee the victory in that sense. Uh, so it's a bit of we're at the point where it's more of a trade-off because before of those of you who saw that video from Acarus or just a lot of his videos he heavily emphasizes um building your defense or he did before he emphasized building your defense in a way that you wouldn't lose any lift because it was good enough to 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 win more often than it lost um and he made a video recently talking about uh incorporating mythic units on your defense because he you know began to realize that obviously you can't win them all right like you can't win every single every all your defenses you're gonna get you're gonna get stopped at some point um so we have to now mitigate our losses by trying to figure out how to maintain the defense you want as well as carrying around these these astra units uh, on top of that um like i said for cav lines specifically, that's a, that's going to be like the hardest to make sure you have your two mythic units and the cav the cav units. Um, but for flyer balls, we're 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 pretty good on that on that end because for flyer balls we have uh, Triandra on one season and we have Mirabilis on the other season. Um, I run one Mirabilis and I need to I need a second one, but I don't know where I'd put her and and that's something I'll talk about my defense later and and how that's going um, and what kind of changes I've made or will make to that. Um, but basically what I'm, the, the point I want to make is that offenses have been pretty easy because a lot of people's defenses seem to be sort of like, we're in a, in a bit of a mad scramble here where people are trying to figure out what to do. So, so defenses are changing and becoming less like suboptimal where it's like someone had a defense before and it was like, oh, this always wins, but it's like, well, not always, but it, most of the time it'll win. But you know, now we're getting countered by people who have, you know, plus 10 and say in plus 10 units, um, that weren't necessarily around at the time. So all I wanted to mention was even hitting tier 30, whatever, in the Vault of Heaven, my offense is, me on offense has not been so hard. And, and hopefully we'll see that, or well, not hopefully, but maybe we'll see that in my, in my, um, on my attacks and we'll see what kind of, you know, stuff we run into and, and what kind of deficiencies or, or suboptimalities we might end up finding there. Um, this is the next season. Uh, it's going to be pretty good because on defense, the stats don't help her at all, but it's just there. Uh, but on offense, the stats don't help her either uh, very much so uh, but it's just nice that they're there and like i don't have to worry about like again you can build your teams knowing you already have that unit on there um just really quickly we can see here uh we lost the maximum lift on every except for this one on every uh loss so here 54 i beat one there uh, beat one here. We had a success, but we got the lift loss control, and I did get a success. Uh, so zero. So this could we could have been a lot worse. Uh, basically, I lost more or less the maximum lift every every other day. Um, the reason I wanted to point that out is because I gain roughly. Let's go look at our our um, battle here. I gain 390, and I think because it says you get uh, 10 extra. I don't know if that's counted in here. So if it's not, if it is counted in here. That's four. If it's not counted in here, that's 400 every victory. If it's not counted in here, then it's going to be 380, and then I don't lose a unit, and then it's 390, right? So 390. So we can kind of theoretically assume we're at 400. Let's go check rewards. So we gain 400 from every victory. 
I have enough for two doubles and a single. So that's 400 and 200. That's a total of uh, 1,000 points. So if we add 1,000 points here, we don't make it into tier 38, which I did find kind of sad because uh, it says here, there's that, uh, based on your... Okay, so if we don't, if we make it into tier 20, 37, which we will, unfortunately, we won't make it to tier 38, we'll get dropped down to 23, which is kind of the one thing I was hoping wouldn't happen. I thought it was 37 and 38 that would, like, keep you up there, um, which I guess it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, I don't know, it's hard to put into words, but it's one of those things where it's like, that's kind of the point, right? Like, we wanted this to be more exclusive, um to stay up here but it's just really irritating because now it's like i already know i'm going to be alternating back and forth between the two you know far into the you know however long this is going to be um and the only way to basically solve that is going to have to be through more mythic merges both on astra and um both on offense and defense um which is art like i said is already getting kind of on my nerves just thinking about that kind of stuff uh, but it is what it is, you know, um, we weren't good enough to make it to tier 20, tier 38, so I, I concede that uh, it is the way it is, but um, yeah. So let's get in there and take a look and see how we do. I actually changed up my Norn build, and I changed it up yesterday, and today is going to be the uh, first day we get to take a look at how she performs. Like I said, I'm still probably going to change her over to the uh, Plegian Bow. I think that's what it's called, I think, yeah, the Plegian Bow. Uh, I want to change her over to that eventually, but we'll keep this for now, just just for the sake of it. Just because basically this is the worst case scenario. Like she doesn't have the Plegian bow and and she can't charge her special. Um, basically the main change I did was give her um, low attack speed three. Uh, just because, like I said, she can brawl really well and the low attack and like the vantage isn't always very helpful because a lot of times she'll be at full health on the first fight and then the second fight she won't have vantage and then you know. If she can fight two people, uh, and then you know take their hits. So if she if they hit her once, her no, her noon time is down to, to one cooldown. She hits them back. Maybe she won't, if she doesn't kill them. Uh, if she doesn't kill them and she doubles them, she'll get the noon time on the second hit. But the problem is usually you'll kill them because of how much damage you're doing. Uh, but we'll see. Like I said, it's more experimentation. Um, we still have if that's probably not going to work out. We you know we still have the um, CC Vantage uh, Loki here. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to try her out, see if uh, a tankier, more sturdy build could uh, do us some good. Um, yeah, so let's get in there. 390. Yeah, so next week I might not do this video. Um, there, there's really not a whole lot of need to like, oh, to show us getting back into into the Vault of Heaven because it's not that useful. Um, I mean, like, if you can get in there once, you can get in there again is the problem. So if you can get in there consistently every time you know you get knocked back down it's like one of those things where it's like it's just an annoyance having to get in there every single time um but you know it is what it is uh so this one we're kind of locked into using norn actually just because of him um what to do what to do total bonuses on unit what bonuses does he get he doesn't get any bonuses does he have his own bonuses oh i guess he has this um I think we're gonna have to kill you, so we'll probably put Norn here, um, boost her up, so she'll uh, uh, smite her up here, and then she'll kill him. You see, there's no way. He is, and I saw that just because there's like a slight blue, like that little blue spark right there. I don't know if you guys can see them. That's crazy. Um, and he's got, so basically you want to stack defense on him so you don't get uh, milled. This is kind of interesting. This build is basically uh, the kind of build I really hate fighting against. So we might actually lose on this because uh, basically it's got all kinds of stuff that you don't really want to deal with, right? So for one, you've got to worry about Bramimon, who's probably just going to one-shot you uh, or two-shot you. Um, he has Hardy Bearing, so basically we solved like the Vantage. We don't have to worry about Vantaging him. Uh, so, or I could, so I could put her here, smite her here, and then snipe him um but dealing with him is not going to be such a good idea just because he's got this i mean none of these are right the, the problem is you don't want to fight any of the guys any of these guys on player phase uh, they all got humongous boosts except for you i don't know why he has that not anything else 
The problem being that he's probably going to like... I'm going to stand here and hit him. Well, I guess if I kill him, he'll come up forward and then hit me, swap, and then, you know, proceed to do what he does from there. Um, but yeah, so let's... Uh, I guess like a safer route would be to come over here and then hit her. Because I also have close foil and not close counter, so that's another thing to consider. Um, so putting Norn here, sniping her, then... Who knows what happens from there. Uh, basically, it's safer here because I can trigger this, have it like hurt everybody, and then just get healed by this immediately. Uh, and then know whether this is a trap or not. Because if this isn't a trap, what I can do is put Norn here, snipe him, put my Dancer here, dance her, come over here, snipe him, or stand here and snipe her, and basically just fight against these three. And I think that would probably be better. So let's. I'm going to try the, going this way, hitting him there. Uh, and see what we could do there. But basically, I feel like we're, we're probably going to lose here. Um, is basically the bottom line. is I'm trying to like mitigate my losses. Um, fortunately, I've already sort of conceded here. So if we do end up winning, then, you know, all the better. Uh, part of me also wants to run the, the double... Let's see. They don't have any visible buffs either. Unless, what is this? No, yeah, it's not visible. So no visible buffs other than him. And he's by himself, so it's not going to really do anything. So... I think I'm going to run with um, the two the two peonies just for the sake of more um, dancing capabilities. Uh, so let's see let's see how this goes. Uh, basically, is all uh, all I can ask for. Um, funnily enough, with the buffs, she's at 109 in terms of adding them both together. Uh, she's also Oh no, she's not. She's a uh, 10. What is this? 105. Actually, yeah, she's a lot higher. I don't. Oh, it's because I usually I calculated this with um, only one peony. Uh, so normally she's at 105, and then she ties her with 105 for uh, the addition of your attack and your speed. So the chill. So this tower hits her. Um, which you know that, that I was saying that was, the the idea was to have um, P, um, air soak those, but at least she can soak the attack chills. Uh, but you re I really need to, basically, the, the the thing is, I need to give her uh, the life and death 4, which I do have an extra copy of. I've just been kind of hesitant to give it to her for some reason. Uh, if once I give her that, there'll be no problem, because she'll have um, 61 and 48, which gives you 109. So it ties with her now, but normally I don't always run 2 Peony, uh, so she'll be, she'll be safe be uh, after that. Unfortunately, she'll still get the speed chills, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and I just realized I actually needed the Aversa. Um, because of that. So let's hit this. Okay, so we know this is the trap. And I forgot that she has rally attacks. <laughs> this is such a, like, a disorganized um, effort here. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to have her stand here and snipe him. Because she has more defense. So she can fight these guys a little easier. Than she can fight something like him. Though not, not like she has like the worst trouble against him. But anyway. Let's try that. Um, I am going to activate this skill. So yeah. We're going to activate this skill. Uh, we'll use this. And I messed up, right? Because I forgot to give her the plus seven to res that uh, this peony would have if she has it. This one's just here as an extra. <laughs> um, but that's all right. Let's just get in there. We'll snipe him. And now everything else is physical except for him, who probably isn't going to hit that hard. Uh, he can't double me is the problem. Um, and also, what is this? Attack defense. And I'll, he'll just die, uh, basically. So even with this Blair Blade and uh, this, he's, he's still not going to win. Uh, I don't think, anyway. Uh, so he dies. Um, do I have my animations on? I do, in fact, have them. So let's try this. I'm also kind of curious just to see how this plays out. Um, so we one-shot him. Uh, you have debuffs for some reason. Oh, because, yeah, okay. Uh, so let's get you out of the way. Okay, let's see how this fares. Okay, so he rallied him, which isn't good. 69, so he hits me for 23. 
and one shot. Uh, the problem is he's going to get danced, and he he no longer has debuffs on him, so he's going to come in here, and I just die anyway. <laughs> so I was not too I was kind of worried for nothing. Um, so that's nice. Uh, and then Sothis is here, so basically we now have to. Uh, we can't kill him with that. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I am going to snipe this because I need to take this. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. I don't think he can. Certainly. We'll kill you with this. Be safe. Uh, and something is going off. I don't know why my slack just turned itself on. That was weird. I think I accidentally clicked it at some point. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the uh, recording in any way. Um. So I guess the idea here is we can kill her with her. Uh, but we cannot. Attack res, we've got the mystic boost, we've got the uh, boost from this, so that's kind of interesting that we don't have enough to kill her. Um, now nah, that's pretty crazy. Well, I guess it's like, it has to do with the fact that on unit, so she has, yeah, there's a lot of bonuses on her and she still can't take the kill. She can't one-shot her is the problem. Full enough, she can outspeed me. 39 and I've only got 31. Something is going wrong somewhere for this person. I'm not entirely sure what it was, what it is though. Um, so we got that. We'll just have to, yeah, we'll have to do this. Um, we'll put you here. Uh, we'll put you over here. Put you here. We have to kind of dance around the Sothis. Funnily enough, though, we don't actually have to get this last uh, pot. I just kind of want to for the sake of it. Um. Whoa, that was weird. Did you guys see that? I don't know. I wonder if that came up on on the on the, the thing. There we go. This is a lot of healing we got off of that. That's ten. That's more than we usually get. I mean, usually we get around like six or maybe you know, even less than that in a lot of cases. I uh, need to snipe this. That's I hate that building so much. Uh, can I kill you with you? I can't kill you with you. Can I kill you with you. Okay, now we're kind of um, in trouble. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Okay. Um, we can step on this and it'll hit her. It's two, three away. Three spaces. We can step on this and it'll hit her and then we'll just one shot her with like her, I guess. She does 33, hopefully we can knock her down below that 33 threshold. Depending on how uh, strong this thing is. Um, but, I, I kind of, like I said, I kind of I kind of like taking these just for the sake of taking them. But I think in this case we should just leave it. Because I have 240, uh, we get, each one of these gives you 10, so we're at 250 now. Getting that gets us up to 260. Uh, dropping the 100 we just spent for this gets us up to 160. If we do another 100, that's another 20, that's 180. Um, and then we drop that 100, so we're at 80. And then we do one for 50, and that only gets us 10, so we're at 90. Uh, so somewhere along the line, we were 10 short. So basically, there's no point in getting them. We're just going to we'll cut our losses here. Um, let's... Uh-oh, something's lagging. There we go. Okay, let's hit her with this. So 30, so that was good. Uh, and then she's dead. Okay, so this is kind of what the problem with these um, with these traps is, which always annoys me, is that like a lot of times you can just use them against um, your team. Uh, and of course, air can't do very much to her for some reason. It's kind of weird. She's got well, yeah, she's got really reduced uh, defense there. Basically, you just got a one shot her. Is uh, all there is to it. Thirty six. Uh, for some reason, my computer is lagging now, which is kind of weird. It's actually getting on my nerves. Uh, but anyway, so that was that. We probably could have gotten that, but it would have taken more turns, and we'd be cutting it kind of close. And I, you know, because if we just waited, we moved all of our units out of the way, and then waited for her to like, because next turn she can stand here and snipe it, and then proceed to kill her. Um, which again, it's not necessarily good or bad. It's just you know we could have if we wanted to, but I really didn't care anymore. The sooner the better, right? Uh, don't send. So we're in tier thirty-six now. So we did not get 
the plus 10, which we should have, right? Yeah, so we should have been at 2100. Which basically means that this thing here uh, is not like well, I guess it's it's like calculated into your your score thing. It's just it seems disingenuous to say that you get a plus ten if all your units live when really you're just getting penalized if uh, any of your units dies, right? But yeah, that, that was kind of my thing there. Uh, so like I said, let's get in there. We got one more for our double, and I still have like almost all my escape letters. Funnily enough, let's go take a look here. So, let's, so we're in tier thirty six now. Um. Escape ladder. Yeah, we have. I have all five of them. So really, there's no issue here. So I can snipe this. Uh, we can stand here and trigger this. See if this does anything. Um, if not, then basically the point is to stand here, go forward and snipe. Let's see. What speed are you at? You're at 55 speed. So this is going to be a huge problem. Um, unless, well, actually, no. This isn't too bad. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I have 54 speed. So we, we're we're pretty good on that. Uh, Aversa is here, of course. So this isn't too bad. This is an interesting team. Uh, basically, the whole thing is predicated on like uh, bike or uh, you know dark Ike, dike <laughs> on dike killing everybody. Um, especially because so what I just remembered was I was gonna try to debuff him by having Aversa there, but that's not gonna help because you're basically just gonna double up on his speed, uh, and that's not good. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go double peony here, uh, stand here, snipe like her, I guess, and then just let everybody crash into me. Or, I, well, actually, I probably have to stand. Eh, this is kind of iffy. 45, 55. I'm more scared of him because he's got uh, Mayhem Aether and uh, damage reduction here, and I can't hit him. So I'm just going to stand here, snipe her. She's going to stand here and fight with me, but at least, uh, you know, I can usually tank... So this is so it's not that big a deal, uh, and then this guy's not going to do a whole lot of anything. Um, so let's, and that's not even. Actually, I don't even have to do anything. I can just stand here with um, Norn, let her come into me, and then die, and then just kind of let them scramble around, and then I can just snipe them from behind these towers. And again, I don't have to take, I don't have to take any of these. Um. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Well, actually, I do want to kind of take you want to take the initiative because this is gonna hit him, and they don't have any healing. This this whole thing is just like really bad because this should have been like a healing tower or this should have been the healing tower, because this is just gonna come in here and destroy everything. Because he's gonna now take forty and he'll be down to sixteen HP, and a sixteen HP deck dike isn't gonna do anything to anybody. Um. Okay, so that kind of like. Yeah, this is, this is a very... See, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, this person here made it all the way up to tier 36, and they have a team that doesn't really... There's no cohesion. There's no, like... Not to mention, like, you know... He's been out long enough that if you want him on your defense, you should have a plus 10 version of him, and this person does not. Not even a plus 1. Uh, only a plus 2. Not even a plus 10, which, like, you would think... You know, a versus probably... I think she was one of, like, my very first plus 10s. Uh, and then this is only a plus one and uh, like these are kind of forgivable that they don't have uh, multiple merges on them just because um, <laughs> No one ever really wants to merge these because who cares like Yeah, these are these are kind of not very good to merge. She's the only one that benefits From merges and even her you don't want to like be boosting her uh, So I'm actually curious I wonder should I go with Norn here? I probably should go with Norn, but I really want to use Boki um, but yeah, I feel like Norn will help it better just because like, my, that, that special is not going to do anything to me. That special can kill me pretty well. Uh, Sirius is always a strong special. Glaces and all these stuff, all these things here. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to go with the double, uh, double peony again so we don't get too many debuffs on them. Uh, of course, uh, Air can't fight against Sothis. 
I forgot who the bonus unit is. Is it Peony? I think it is Peony. That's probably why she's so fast. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember anymore. All I know is I'm getting the maximum lift anyway. Okay, we are going to... You're going to stand on this purple tile. Let's try this time not to, like, make sure she's giving the, the plus seven. So we'll stand on this purple tile and see how things go. Okay, so this purple tile wasn't real. So it's either, so it's this one. So this is the real purple tile. Now the question is, is it this one or this one for that tile? Um, let's, go together. let's put you here because you'll survive no matter what. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then uh, this is actually a bad idea because the way they, they might dance in a way so that it'll hit her, which is kind of what my issue is going to be. Um, so here's uh, 12 damage and we counter for 64. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. She didn't die on the one shot. Oh, that's because we have um, she's, she, uh, attack speed solo isn't doing anything for her. Um, let's snipe this. We are going to snipe you. I gotta, I get this weird sinking feeling like this is not the way to do this. I'm doing something wrong. Um, let's debuff everybody. Uh, let's do this. So let's see if we can kill him. We actually can kill him pretty easily, so we're just going to kill her. Uh, the reason I'm going to kill her instead of him... Oh, actually, I can just kill him. Basically, I was going to kill her so she wouldn't kill uh, Peony, but... Uh, she can't hit her anyways from wherever she is, so we'll just kill him just so we have no, like... So there's no fear, right? No fear Shakespeare um, dealing with uh, Dyke here. 60 so 58 damage that's pretty that's pretty crazy um considering he's got three hp buffs right because he's got her her and he had triandra there it's a plus 15 extra um so minus seven from something oh yeah because the chill and then the minus seven seven so yeah i guess we just win so so much for dyke um Dyke's sword can be really scary sometimes just because of that fact of like you can't debuff him and a lot of times you can just win you can just straight up win fights um like that uh we can put her here for no real reason and have her fight against um Yoon um for no again for no real reason whatsoever so we're just gonna put her there uh and we're kind of we're kind of lucky here that we don't have to worry about getting uh, the pots So we drop her for a minus 10 attack. That's pretty crazy. And then we take another 6 here. But since we didn't get to attack last time, we get a 12 heal from this. And then of course uh, Yoon dies here. Uh, this is kind of the, the beauty of two dancers is like you can just do nonsensical stuff like that. Like you can do this. Well, I mean, this isn't really a two dancer thing. You could do this if I only had one dancer, but still, like two dancers gives you so much movement and so many attacks that it's like it's almost unfair. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, like I haven't used the single one all week, and I've I've perfected all of them. Um, but as you can see from the the way my my points, uh, I missed a few pots like here and there somewhere. Um, which you don't ever really want to be missing any pots whatsoever because things like this happen. I might I might have been able to make it into tier 20. Uh, I might have been able to make it into tier 38 despite how poor my defense did. Uh, yep. What the heck is that? If uh, I had 
if I had gotten all those pots that I should have gotten. So that's something to consider for a lot of you out there. Uh, and then here we are. So let's check rewards just for the sake of checking them. So we're at 400 and we can only get a maximum of 600. So if I had pots to do another 100, right, um, we'd be at 4, 440, 480 plus 400 is another um, 800 something, right? So it's 480 plus 390 is, I guess, the, the way to look at it. it would give us um, 870 and I'd be able to make it in here, but I didn't. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Uh, let's go in here and then just get this last attack out of the way. This might go longer than just one more attack considering I do have um, all my escape letters. Um, this one doesn't seem too good again. I think the play here is just to uh, put Norn here and then we'll put Norn here because they can't reach. I can destroy all this stuff. They can't reach us. Norn stands here. Uh, comes up here, snipes her, and then I put Peony here to dance her, and then stand here and kill him. Because after that, there's really no threat. Uh, she's gonna hit Norn. She's gonna come over here and try to hit Norn. Uh, she's gonna hit Norn, and and she's gonna die to Norn. So the only problem that's gonna that I foresee kind of uh, arising here is that like she might hit Norn way too hard. Uh, normally, she's not that big a deal because Norn could just vantage her, but. That's something to consider. Actually, what I'm thinking now is maybe just running um, Boki, right? Because Boki has Vantage, uh, and she has Close Counter, which means she can she can kill Sothis, uh, which might be what I end up going with. And they don't have any bows to counter, so let's do the last one with uh, with Boki if we, if it's possible. Um, yeah, we're gonna go here. Okay, so do they have any visible buffs? I mean, I always just bring her in here just because of the minus, like, a lot of people don't realize it's like, oh, don't bring, you know, um, a lot of people think of, like, Aversa as like, oh, you know, she's useless because not a lot of people are running um, visible buffs on defense anymore. Um, that's that's all right. I mean, we're not getting the maximum use out of her, but the fact that you're dropping everybody by three to all their stats is still something to not take lightly, like, the the minus three is, is a huge swing, especially when we're talking about like plus ten units where you know speed is everything, right? Um, so I just want to point that out is that a lot of people think that a versus now useless because not that many people are running um, are running visible buffs on their defense when that's not the case. Um, again, there's no healing tower here, which this is what I'm kind of saying. I'm not sure how these people made it up to tier thirty whatever into the vault of heaven when they don't really have like the basics down because any 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 map you you meet where they don't have a healing tower basically just means they're um you can just destroy them with Cronia. um and Cronia is a free to play cc vantage unit that everybody should build for this very reason is that she gets countered by healing tower um to a certain degree but even then it's like a lot of people aren't really building the healing tower anyway so it's like yeah i, I don't know i just find it interesting especially because of how powerful like if you're gonna if you if you were to only run one offensive structure right i run this and this right but if you were only to run one if you for some reason you don't have an escape ladder for some reason you don't have like if you were to choose between this and the escape ladder i would choose this every single time like the bolt tower is such a strong offensive structure that it's like you have to assume every team you go into has it and you know see so yeah, like i'm saying uh the reason the point the thing that the reason I point that out is just that I'm not entirely sure how these people got um, here. Um, might be kind of sad to say a little bit, but... So, like, look at this. Three, 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 and three. Well, are there any visible? No. Uh, you... She does. So basically, seven, seven, and seven reduction. Uh, and that's about it. Does she give out visible? And there you go. So another. So she already had the seven, and she already has. Okay. So she basically gives herself five, um, which is not. You don't want that. Um. Yeah, we'll put you here, and we'll put you here. Okay. So let's see what they do. Uh, we're probably gonna get sabotaged. Um. Which I forgot what we're set. We're, we're losing. We're losing speed and we're losing defense, which is fine because she'll get danced and it won't be a big deal, right? So I can do this. Um. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna snipe you. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll snipe you. Well, she's dead. Of course. Uh, then we will... Let's move Aversa down, and then we'll put you here. And we'll dual skill. And there's another thing. I'm not sure what's up. They don't. They have the dual building here, but they don't have a dual unit. Right? So this is kind of just someone who, who got up here just for the sake of being up here without really much effort. Which is kind of funny because it basically means that, like, the new Vault of Heaven isn't really any different than Tier 27 and Tier 28 used to be, right? There's not... Like, my thinking was we're going to get in here and we're going to be fighting people that are, like, talking, like, at the top of the top of the you know top of the mountain right like people who actually uh you know you're gonna i mean you know the like it says a lot that i haven't used a single escape ladder now granted i didn't make it into tier 38 so that's something to consider um but that mainly comes from like poor defense uh and the fact that i don't have a lot of merges um like if i had a plus 10 air or something like that right like a plus 10 unit would i have made it i don't know actually i'm not entirely sure i mean I, let's not say anything um that isn't, you know, that might not be true. So, um, in any case, it's just interesting that, like, it, there seems to be such a low barrier to entry to the Vault of Heaven. Um, and then we snipe him, and she should be out of range. But if she's not, air is there. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, and here we go. We're just seeing uh, Boki murder literally everyone. 78 damage on one, uh, on a single strike. Yep. So let's put all her down here, and now let's see Boki fight, uh, Boki versus the world as it is. So she goes first, and now she put me in vantage range. Um, basically everyone else is going to die. So 99, I wonder how much damage this is actually going to do. 117, that's pretty crazy. Uh, so I get to vantage her for 76. And then lastly, I get to Vantage Sothis for 62. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that's this week's, uh, this season's uh, Aether Raids. Hopefully uh, it was entertaining to some degree. 195 Aether. Uh, six thousand plays, which is kind of interesting, right? Because even back in tier twenty-seven and all that stuff, when uh, we didn't have this, that's basically what I was consistently reaching in terms of rank, right? <laughs> My rank was generally around like six thousand. It's actually lower, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but generally around this, like around here, I used to get both of these chairs. So now it's actually a lot worse, right? Because um, I'm missing out the blue chair. Usually it's between. Uh, it's guaranteed blue chair, but. Um, Hopefully I get a red chair, but <laughs> not anymore, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, and that, like I said, that's a lot of that has to do with like mainly just defense lift. We undershot it by what? 25 here gets you seven, so 125. 125 points. That's how much we get. 190 something from uh, from an, a 50 attack, right? So the point being that if I hadn't missed whatever pot I missed somewhere in the week, um, then I probably would have made it. Like, I'd have another attack or at some point. Not today. I, I'm not like going to have four attacks today. But I would have at some point been able to make another attack than normal. Uh, and then we'd get in there despite my poor defense performance. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of that. Uh, what else? I guess some thoughts on Vault of Heaven. Uh, I know Acris made a video. I think it's fine. Um... It's just more tiers. Like I said, I find the only thing I find irritating because it happens all the time when I'm playing arena, a regular arena. Um, you just sit between tier 21 and tier 19, or tier 20 and tier 19, because uh, I don't have the units you need to make it into tier 21 or the merges on them either. Um, so I just sit in tier 20 and tier 19, and it's just like there's no incentive to play on when i'm already in tier 20 there's no incentive to play next week because i'm just gonna get dropped down to tier 19 again whether i i try as hard as i can or not so that's kind of annoying from that end point now here it's a little better because as, like i said as you saw if i had tried a little harder throughout the week and i had gotten that extra pot that i needed to have gotten um i wouldn't be in the situation i'd be in tier 20, tier 38 
Um, but I think the fact that like my defense kind of I, like I'm dragging my defense through the mud here, trying to make it up to tier 38. Um, it's kind of irritating uh, having you know, like I said, every week, every other week now, I'm just going to be in Vault of Heaven and then tier 28, Vault of Heaven tier 28. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it is what it is. Uh, I'm actually going to be curious to see how other people perform. Um, I imagine it's not impossible. Like I said, it, it, it's very possible. Like, I had messed up one, but I do find it interesting why such easy matches. Like, I've, I've like, my point being, I've had insanely tougher matches in tier 20, like 5 or 26 or 27 than I have had my entire time in tier 30 and above, right? It's kind of what my point is. I'm not sure what is contributing to that or why that is the way that it is, but um, yeah. Funnily enough, though, it'd be kind of interesting because I think next, now the next season, right, now that I'm in Tier 23 and uh, the people who are in Tier 30, whatever, are going to stay here and all of us, people like me, get weeded out, like those are going to be some pretty hard matches, I think. And it'll be funny because I think people who made it to Tier 38 this week, next week will have a harder time and they're going to get dropped down to Tier 23 and I'll be boosted up into tier 30. So like all the people that were like me who got weeded out this time, we're going to get back in there and it's going to be easy again. And that, that's kind of my only fear is that I'm just going to like, I'm not going to be able to experience like the real hard version of it, of, of, of the, like the real heaven's gate. Right. Um, I'm just going to be sitting here experiencing a neutered version of it because a bunch of people like or vault of heaven, because a bunch of people like me were in there that shouldn't have been in there. We get knocked out. Um, and then the the, the, the the real competitive people are in there, and I don't get to fight them. And then I come back next season, the season after that, and it's just a bunch of people like me again, and it's all easy. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of uh, all there is to it, and I, I, I can't see them. I wanted to take a look at some units. But um, yeah, I think uh, maybe later today or tomorrow I'm going to make a video talking about my uh, defense and what changes I think I'm going to make and, and, and what changes, what things like you know, are good. And then I also wanted to make another video kind of talking about my, I don't play arena. Like I really despise playing arena cause it's so boring. Um, yeah, I really just, everything about the arena in this game is like the worst thing ever. Um, like, yeah, like I said, I don't play it, but I do still want to have a team optimized for it regardless, just to make it a lot easier. Cause Despite my hatred of it, I still have to play it, right? We still have to play Arena, like, for the rewards, right? So, if you don't have any choice, at least try to do your best, you know, hopefully mitigate um, the suffering you go through by playing that mode. Um, yeah, so that's it. That'll be all it for today. Um, I feel like at some point I might do the the video summoning for the Plegian Bow. I, need, I do need two of them. Um, and this season was also like I've been paying attention this season to when I can and can't use them um, those bows and when they are maximally beneficial or minimally beneficial and I, I do feel like those bows are kind of the future of, of, of running Aether Raids especially for Norn now that I've switched off Vantage uh, Norn with that bow can charge her special as well as having the low attack so not only like if they have a minus 7 to attack because and I'll probably put attack smoke on Norn. Not only will they have a minus seven to attack, they'll have another minus seven from the bow, another minus five from, uh, from the, what's it called? From the bow again. That's already like we 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 looked at that last time. That's already minus nineteen. Um, but the lull is another minus three, so that's uh minus twenty two. Uh, and then they can't buff, they can't put a buff on, which means that it's going to be just a flat uh, minus 22. But if, if you have a Versa and, they pan and you panic them and they get a plus 6, that's another minus 6 to them because the panic turns that into a, a debuff. That's a minus 28 attack stat, right? Like, I don't really need to go into detail why how ridiculous that is. That's... That's a minus 30 to anybody's attack stat. Like, somebody who has a 60 attack stat, which is, like, pretty high, I would almost say, you know, monstrous... Well, not monstrously high. Probably 70 is, like, colossally high. But but 60 is no laughing matter. And you reduce that person's attack down to 30. Like, that's no joke. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, again, that's kind of, like, best case scenario. Um, and um, basically, the point of this season and last season, as you guys saw there, 
was just evaluating what the best case scenarios are, right? Do they come up a lot? Do they come up enough even? Uh, and from what I've seen, yeah, especially because I, I pair um, Duo Mikaya with Norn a lot. So the Duo Mikaya will always have that debuff. Well, usually if they don't have the dual syndrance, um, we'll usually have that debuff of, of minus seven. And then if I have Norn with a with an attack smoke in the seal, that's a minus seven to attack. And that's seven to both stats that the bow gives you bonuses to. Um, the only question is sometimes I'll run a Versa and sometimes I won't the way we saw today. But even if I'm not running a Versa, those debuffs are enough to not only get the huge, um, basically kill secure that uh, Bridal Makaya gives you because of her, I mean, it doesn't just reduce their defense by seven, right? It gives you um, da true damage based on debuffs. So not only that, but you have that, but you have that like there to secure. Even if you don't have a Versa, like you're still a very strong combo. And that's kind of what I'm, you know, what's really cool. Uh, most of the time as well, like, there's a lot of people who don't have, like, if they have the duelist hindrance, it's usually not well protected enough because we're at a point where it's like, you have to you have to really protect a lot of, of buildings. You have to protect the duos hindrance now. You have to protect the, the healing tower. You have to protect, sometimes you have to protect the, um, the what's it called? What's that? Uh, the tactics room, the panic manners, they're not that big a deal. But the healing tower and the, the duelist uh, hindrance are something you really have to kind of, uh, position your units in a way so that they're not just easily sniped out um, and I guess in terms of like looking forward to that uh, defense video I still haven't figured out what um, what tile set is going to be the best mainly because like it, so right now we basically have most of our problems solved on defense that I had however the biggest problem that you we all have to deal with at some point um, is having to deal with Regan, and I still can't, like, I don't have anything that can deal with Regan. Bike and Vector are kind of solved. Um, what's his name? Uh, Dual Alphonse is kind of solved. So all these things are solved, except for, uh, unfortunately, the um, uh, the Regan, uh, which is a huge pain because, like, if you, if you can't solve a Vector, let's say, that's kind of all right because you're not gonna you can't really assume everyone has a vector right not everyone has a vector properly invested enough to do well on offense um unfortunately reagan even at no investment we all got one for free even at no investment she still poses a huge threat um to the entire team so that's something that i'm gonna have to like give it some more thought and figure out because i you know and i'll go into this in the defense video but that's kind of looking forward is that like I still haven't figured out uh, what to do against Reagan. Um, go figure. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys all made it into Tier 38, and uh, you guys can tell me uh, how it is uh, next season. If it's uh, if the if, there's a, if the difficulty spikes a whole lot because people like me were weeded out, uh, or uh, it just remains being just as easy as this one as this week has been. Like I said, theoretically easy. Like all of my matches were easy. Um, I just you know the mathematics of like making sure I get everything right didn't turn out very well um but yeah so that's that hopefully you guys all uh like i said let me know how that goes uh for the interview who do end up up there and um hopefully you were able to pick up something from here uh yeah and that's it